In this video, I will be using PowerShell to stop Microsoft Teams from running on startup. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video, and I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the reason for this video. Basically, I got a comment asking me to cover this topic. And as you can see, the person that made this request did not provide any details about his environment or the problems that he's trying to solve. And this makes very difficult for me to make a proper video about this topic because I will have to improvise a lot. So if you're making a request for me to make a script or some type of package, I'm asking you to provide me as much details as you can about your environment and also the problem that you're trying to solve. Anyways, in this video I will cover how Auto Startup works for Microsoft Teams that comes with Windows installation. And for that I will go back to my main GitHub page and then I will go to VMware Workstation where I have this clean Windows 11 installation. Now to check the startup applications we can open Task Manager. Then let's go to Startup Apps and here we can see the applications that comes with clean Windows installation and as you can see some of them are enabled and some of them are disabled and Microsoft Teams in this case by default is disabled. And Microsoft Teams will change status to enabled after the user will launch it for the first time. And I will show you how it works a bit later. First I want to show you the registry entry that is responsible for configuring Microsoft Teams startup status and for that I will go back to my github page here we have the registry location for the registry entry so I'll click on the button right here to copy this value go back to the virtual machine and I will open regedit then I will click yes and here in the location area I will insert the value from the github page and here we can see a few registry entries and this registry entry that is called state is responsible for configuring Microsoft Teams uh, startup status. And value two means that startup for Microsoft Teams is enabled. But in the task manager, we can see that the status is disabled. And the reason for that, that Windows is ignoring this value until the user will execute Microsoft Teams for the first time. And we can test it by opening Microsoft Teams for the first time. So for that, I will go to my start menu, search for Teams, I will open it. Now that Microsoft Teams was executed once for this user, we can close the task manager and then reopen it. Let's go to the startup apps once again. And as you can see, now the value for the status is enabled. And now let's go back to the registry editor and let's change the value for state from two to one. I will click OK, minimize the screen. Once again, let's close and reopen the task manager. Go to the startup apps and once again you can see that Microsoft Teams startup is disabled. So basically that's how it works manually. Now I will go back to the register editor, change the state to 2, click OK, go back and reopen the task manager. Startup apps, once again Microsoft Teams is enabled. And now I will show you how to disable the startup for Microsoft Teams using PowerShell. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page and here I have the command that I will be using. So basically this command right here will change the registry entry value from two to one. And very important thing to understand in here is that because we're modifying the registry entry that is in the current user hive, this command will only work for the user that is executing the command. Later, I will show you this command that works for all the users. So now let's copy it by clicking on the button right here, go back to the virtual machine and let's open a PowerShell window. We can open PowerShell without administrative privileges and then insert this command, press enter. As you can see the command was executed successfully and if I reopen the task manager once again and go to the startup apps, we can see that once again Microsoft Teams startup is disabled. And like I said before, this command that I used only works for the user that is executing the PowerShell command. Now let's close everything in here and I will show you that I have another user account on this computer. So let's sign out from the admin user and let's sign in to the John user. And here on the John's account, if I go to the task manager, we can see that Microsoft Teams startup is enabled because I executed once before. We can also see Microsoft Teams in here. So now I will go back to my admin user and I will be disabling a Microsoft Teams startup 
for all the users on the computer. So let's go back to the admin user and let's open a PowerShell window. And this time we need to open it using administrative privileges. Let's click yes and let's go back to the GitHub page because I will be using this snippet to disable Microsoft Teams startup for all the users on the computer. And now I will go over how this snippet works. First, it will create a provisioning folder in C program data directory on the computer. After that, it will create a registry file that you see here that will modify the state value for Microsoft Teams startup configuration. And as you can see, the value will be one. So this will disable the startup for Microsoft Teams. And this command right here will create the file, but it will not execute it for now. And next, we are creating another registry entry. And this is a configuration for active setup. An active setup allows us to execute commands once for each user on the computer, even for the users that we'll be creating in the future. And using active setup, we will be importing the registry file that we created here. And like I said before, this will be executed for all the users on the computer once. And the snippet right here is responsible for creating this registry setting. Now to test the snippet, let's click on the button right here, go back to the virtual machine, let's insert it, press enter. As you can see, it seems that it executed successfully. Now let's test it. Let's sign out from the admin user and let's go back to the Jones account. Now we need to wait a bit for about 30 seconds. And after about 30 seconds, we can open Task Manager, go to the Startup Apps, and here we can see that Microsoft Teams, the status is disabled, even though currently we still have it running right here. So let's test if everything works fine by restarting the computer. And the computer restarted, so let's check our startup applications once again. We can see that Microsoft Teams is still disabled. And if I check here, you can see that Microsoft Teams was not executed during the startup. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.